What up, though? You already know how I go. Make sure you smash, like, subscribe, comment. I don't care what you comment as long as you comment. You dig. Appreciate all my supporters. Hey, y'all. If you're watching this video, just make sure you press the like button. Why not? You are already watching the video. If you get 20 seconds into it, 30 seconds into it, you might as well just press like. Help me back, get back in the algorithm, please, y'all. Been dropping consistent for y'all. Appreciate y'all, man. You did. I'm about, I want to um, I want to talk about this time, man. We at IMAX in the hole. And I, it, it, it's a guy on here. He said, uh, I don't think he was in level five. I seen it, you know, some, some paperwork. Well, if you go look at the paperwork video, if I got two assaults on police officers, couple cell extractions, popping sprinklers, four or five assaults on inmates, two fights, regular fights, all mines was usually assaults. And the difference between assault and a fight is mean he didn't he did not get a chance to even punch back. Or there's no evidence that he punched back. He was just strictly assaulted. I went to the hole. He stayed on the compound. Or I went to, well, usually they didn't. But he would ride out, go to the hole and protect the custody and so on and so forth or wherever he go. And I go to the hole. You think about it. In four years, if I had seven, paperwork uploaded. If I got 70 something tickets in four years, my cousin did 25 years and got 50 tickets. You think I'm in level one clown? So anyway, we at IMAX. Let that up for you. It's loud. I mean, we're giving y'all this. So we at IMAX. I always had like a dislike for, for Four Corner Hustler, Vice Lords, the Angelos. All the other of us, shout out, oh, boy, I love y'all. Shout out Buck from Flint. Uh, or really Buck from Beecher. Stop capping. You from Beecher. But uh, I don't know if Beecher is soft and flint. Nah, I don't know. But that's what they say. Um, I love Buck. I love the renegade Lord uh, Macintosh Eel. He kept guys from getting on me. For real, for real. Macintosh Eel, Big Brute. In level five, this is level five. Macintosh Eel, Big Brute, and uh, Del Ray Bone. They kept boys off. You feel me? Pause. Not boys like that. But they kept... Some they wanted to get at me. Some real hitters. They wanted to get at me. Like, damn, I ain't no, you know, I made some mistakes. They got they kept them off me though. So shout out Big Brute. Um, uh, shout out 4DL too. Excuse me, not 4DL, but Ford X, G4X. Everybody who in Milan, you better know who he is. If you don't, you're a clown. No, I'm joking. But Ford X. If you've been to the joint, you Milani, you heard that name, Ford G4. You feel me? Gerald Ford. So, um, nevertheless, though, we in the hole, IMAX. We fish out the room. IMAX officers is, they wicked. They not like Marquette officers that let you get away. They see you fishing. Fishing is when you tie the laundry bag up. If you got bars, you throw the laundry bag out with soap. You throw it down. Or if you're on the bottom floor, you throw it over your rail. And you pull it back and forth fast. And then snatch it in. It'll shoot up to the top. It's fishing. That's how we pass things. That's how we communicate. That's how we share food. That's how we do trades. So if the police do a round at IMAX, they see you fishing. They snatching it. They snatching it. Marquette, they didn't do that. Certain officers would, but Marquette, they like, we got to walk past these bars. Dude, throw anything out of these bars at any time. I mask at the door, so we had to do fishing. So when the police do their round to check on inmates to see if they committed suicide or in their dead or anything, they supposed to check on you, which they really don't. They just walk past. They don't even look in your room. We say 12 on a rock. Okay, now let me explain 12 on the right. That's what we call the law in the hip-hop community, whatever. 12 is the law, right? Now, vice lords go by 12, which is Lord, the 12th letter in the alphabet. They don't like when you say 12 on the rock. So I'm fishing. Dude trying to uh, have me pull something in. I said, snatch it back. 12 on the rock. 12 on the rock. There's one dude. Angelo Four Corner Hustler They gaining ground They were doing massive recruiting They got a master manipulator named Mir That, that got low rank and clout Master manipulator Like he he could, Like dude about 5'11 stocky Pretty boy long hair Shout Murder Mir Murder Mir Could had a fight Where he punched A dude 10 times And a dude punched him 9 but he's such a master manipulator and got everybody like so gone off of him. They'll say 
Mir shocked him like 20 times, and dude didn't even get one hit back. Like, Marty Mir got them boys gone, so they got, they clicked up with the VBM Bloods. Not VBM Bloods. Well, they are clicked up with VBM, uh, but Bad Guy Bloods, which is a branch of VBM. Super tough. So this dude, I remember him from county jail. He was another one. I seen the guy hang up his phone call. I ain't seen him get beat up in that, whatever, but the guy hung up his phone call, get off the phone. He got off the phone. I seen him at Ken Ross get punched out. Dude, get on top of him, beating, beating him up, hands around his neck, just spitting on him, spitting in his mouth, spitting on him. When he got up, he looked like a baby fresh out the womb or did, did, did get the membrane off of him. You got to pop it. Then the baby wake up. You know what I'm saying? I seen this, and you stayed in the same unit with this guy. Didn't do nothing, didn't get back. Like, I can understand a one-on-one -on -one fight losing. You let dudes spit all in your face. So, anyway, he he ended up joining the gang, then another gang, then the gang. So, first he joined Pyro Bloods. No, they, he joined 82 Bloods. But they took, they manipulated him and said, oh, that ain't the real blood set, so on and so forth. You with that blue wool. He went to New York blood set. Six, six, no, he went to Murderous Mad Dogs. He went to Murderous Mad Dogs. Man, why you want to be on some New York stuff? Cali stuff original. You, bro, you should be woo, woo, woo. He went to some Pyro set. Elm Street, it might be Pyro. I don't know. Maybe. I, I, I'm not sure. Y'all know. Comment. Let me know. Educate me. So he went to like some Elm Street, Pyro or Sarah Elm Street. So, peep this. He said eventually one day he want to get his own set, but you can't get a, a set off a neighborhood gang. You got to be a regular gang. Like, you can't get a set off the 20s because the 20s is a neighborhood in California. It got to be like Bounty Hunter, which is not a neighborhood. It's just a gang. So you got the gang type of gangs, and then you got the neighborhood type of gangs of the same gang. I'm just explaining to you what it is, okay? For, let me break it down a little bit more for you. If I'm from 51st in Michigan, right? I'm 50. I'm a 51st Street blood. You can't all have your own set from this. But if I'm a bounty hunter blood, or I'm a, a um a cowboy blood, you can have your own set from this. It don't make no look. I don't make the rules, okay? I don't make the rules. I'm just explaining to you what it is. Don't. Oh, this guy, <laughs> no, this is this is what they said in prison, right? So he went from all these says, then he became a uh, insane vice lord, double nine. Then he flipped to four corner hustler. So he like on the sixth set, fourth gang or some third gangs, whatever, right? And he was a um, RBM dude in the streets, and he still claimed RBM too, whatever. So we in the hole. Police do they round. I say 12 on a rock. 12 on a rock. Pull the car back in, whatever. Well, police do they round. He comes to the door. Hey, be you. What's up? Hey, stop saying that. For real, for real. That's disrespectful. So, you know, guys, when they join these gangs, they always feel like, oh, their brother's going to come to their protection, politic and end it, or they're going to conquer whoever they, you know, because they got some numbers. But when you're dealing with guys that don't really care about them numbers to come out swinging that steel or come out and punch you as soon as we come out the room and we go to the hole every time, like, it, that's a different type of breed of dude. And that's what I try to pride myself on being because I ain't run behind no moors and nobody asking for help when I had problems with the Four Corner Hustlers, when I had problems with the Spanish Covers. I ain't run behind nobody. Y'all think I'm wild? Y'all think I keep staying? I do it myself, but I'm not going to let nobody disrespect me and run over me in here or take nothing from me. You know what I'm saying? And the guy tried to take something from me. He was successful too, but his people paid for it in, in a lot of him being successful or kind of stealing from me. He stole. He didn't really take from me. He I sent the money and then he said he didn't get it. And then a bunch of conflict arose from that with the Sunnis, then the Lords, then the Cobra, then the Lord again. Then the, you know what I'm saying? So I ain't had time to get back at him. You dig what I'm talking about? But he ended up falling anyway. So nevertheless though, he going crazy. Like, I'm like, bro, what, what, what you mean on say 12? Tw now, let me explain to you this. 12 is the 12th letter in the alphabet. It's L. Well, I'm like, bro, chill out, bro. All you had to do was say you don't like that word. 
the words we only know not to use is slob, which we say s slob or blob because we don't want to disrespect the bloods. If it's crips around, we say sea rab instead of crab. You know what I'm saying? Or we say seafood. We know vice lords in particular, the, the, the main name don't like the word Vicky Lou. We know GDs don't like the word glazed on us and bricks. You know, we know, I think the Spanish Cobras is like McDonald's or something like that. No, the Maniacs is like McDonald's uh, or something like that. Major Lark, that's something like that. We know Sex Money Mother Bloods don't like Eminem, the word Eminem. You know, we know this little stuff, but okay, we can't say 12. In our community, we say 12 for the police. We some Detroit dudes. He from, I think, uh, 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 Highland Park. So, okay. I'm like, bro, like, that's all you had to say, man, wh whatever, bro. That's what I'm saying. I'm letting you know. I don't even argue with him. I'm like, all right, cool. So I'm fishing all day because I'm buying stuff. I got a bunch of envelopes. This uh, dirt stone brought me like a bunch of stamp envelopes. Everybody want them. And I'm giving four stamps for a piece. Of, you know what I'm saying? That's $2. And, and, and a piece of go for like two stamps, depending on how good it is. If it's a bad piece, it go for it. So I'm buying all the drawer. I'm buying all the... Uh, the uh, uh, um, pizza I'm buying, all the beans nobody want, like dudes are ante up. Like I, I split, uh, I, I take, uh, it, it'll be 30 cough drops in the bag. I take five and send them to a guy and he'll get the beans from his neighbor that don't want them. And he get the beans from his other neighbor, send them to me. I send him five cough drops. I got to get, I got to get full and the beans is horrible. Like I tell y'all, everywhere I go, them white beans taste like sauteed, celery and cardboard it was celery and beans bro just horrible but in prison you learn to eat without tasting so uh we fishing again i'm getting beans i'm getting uh, a pizza i'm getting pit i'm getting all this so i don't say twelve. i'm not gonna argue with you out the bar so i ain't gonna say 12 i'm gonna just check you when i see you on the yard for talking to me like that so I'm going to wait. We in the hall. Ain't nothing we can do to each other but talk or throw stuff on each other if you walk past the room and I, I'm able to get you. So I say, hook on the rock. Hook on the rock. Put them cars up. Hook on the rock. He comes to the door. Bill. You. 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 Dog, you doing that on purpose. Another vice lord, like, hey, bro, chill, bro. He don't know no, man, he don't know no better, bro. He ain't no. Come on, man, chill. Ask him respectfully. This guy from, like, Grand Rapids or something. I forget his name. Shout, he was a cool dude, too. And he, and he told the vice lords, when I, I'm going to tell you a story on the back end, but he kept them from retaliating, to, uh, retaliating there or putting something together or striking back at the moors or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So. I, I said, hook down, hook, explain this to you. Game, game banging is the all time stupidness. When, when, when it first started off, it was to protect the community. Police wasn't about to ride here and through here and beat up no blacks. They wasn't about to rob you, beat you, hose you. Uh, if it's drug dealers in the community, they would have been like, look, this is school zone. They go to school here. They play at the parks. No shoot, no selling drugs here. Keep it over there. We're going to have problems. So on and so forth. It was meant for something. Game banging is the all time stupidness. So I said, hook down. You know if you're from the streets, we say hook on the block. He get to going crazy about me saying hook. I say, bro, it ain't too many words. On my, I, I told somebody else this before. Bro, I'm not about to keep blocking out all these words. I can't say I can't say blob. I can't say C-Rap. I can't say G-Lays Donut. Glazed Donut. I can't say Glazed Donut. I can't say C-Rap. I can't say Seafood. Or, or, I mean, I can't say Seafood. I can't say... um. Vic or Mike Vic, you get mad. Uh, if I'm not a blood, I can't say doggy or or or, or pawpaw. You can't call yourself pawpaw because the sex money murders took the word pawpaw, or or it might have been a nine tray, whichever one got like a, a three pointed paw. Like it's too many words, homie. Like it's too many words I can't use. The vice lord's got a symbol of a cane, meaning support. You lean on your nation. Turn it upside down, it look like a fishing hook. I don't make the rules. Shut up. If you if you out there talking right now, man, this I don't make the rules. I just try to respect them. He going crazy. 
One of the homies say, hey, look, bro. I agree, bro. We ain't about to woo bro. He said hook down. He get to going off on him. Bro, get to arguing back and forth with him, the, uh, the blood guy. He like, bro, I don't give woo -woo, you VMM, this, is and that. Then some sex money murder jumped in. He was like, uh, yeah, y'all should respect. Then the other blood start calling him, the sex money murder blood a sweet Eminem. You sweet Eminem. You a Eminem. Shut up. Woo -woo. So now it's this big, big old. Woo -woo -woo. We get out the hall, right? We get out the hall. I see him on the yard. I approach him. I said, what was you in the hall? You was talking kind of crazy. And we could have had a normal conversation. Him and his mans. He like, bro, you was just on the phone. You come up off the phone like that, bro. It's like, you want something. I'm like, bro, it's whatever you wanted to be, bro. So what, what, what you going to His mans like, what, what's the problem? We explained to him. He tripping. It's a, it's a VBM guy with him. A, bl a VBM blood. I'm not VBM blood. Bad guy blood. What VBM stand for, I don't know. I think it's like villain banger mafia or something like that. So nothing don't go down, right? It's all good. We got an hour yard. He wait 30 minutes to come back with like five guys. Come back. We talk about the situation, whatever, right? I'm kind of nervous. And when I get nervous, I'm thinking when the first guy approached me, I should just punch him, but I'm glad I didn't. It didn't. It didn't go down, right? Glad I didn't. I guess they they might have been strapped. I don't know. One dude had his hand in his sleeve like this, and that's one of my moves. I walk around like I'm cold, but I had I had a burner in my um sleeve. I walk around like I'm cold. Man, damn, it's cold. Why? You feel me? That's how I got the vice lord at Marquette with the pen in his face, or I pull it out of my hat. I'm just like I'm. Damn, man. Damn, my head cold. And I, wow. So, I'm pretty pissed off. This dude, he talking crazy. Yeah, yeah, better be that. His brother's telling him chill, so on and so forth. When his other brother's like, it's whatever with him. I ain't trying to talk no more, bro. We about to walk away. Y'all won't be peaceful with that. Woo, 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 woo. He shouldn't be saying hook or he shouldn't be saying 12. I'm like, all right, bet. My bad. My apologies, bro. I apologize about this. Probably like two days. Now, mind you, I just got the hoe. Two days later, on the yard, I'm on the phone. And if you're really watching your environment, you see the first day I was on the phone with my back towards the phone. So, you know, so you can view. So now I'm looking out the corner of my eye. I'm talking to one of the homies. I ain't going to say his name. He's still locked up. They might send a word back. He an old school prisoner, though. He my eyes. He telling me where he at. He like, dude, just walking the track. Him and some other dude, ooh, 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 they talking. So as they walk past, I come behind them, running like I'm jogging, do a couple laps. I'm I'm super burnt. I don't exercise this time. So now he just used to me going around him. I'm growing him. I'm walking him to sleep. I'm doing around. Ooh, stop. Pretend like I'm doing some push-ups. Get back up. Pretend like I'm doing some push-ups. Stretching like I'm tired. Go back passing. Cleaning. Knock him straight out. Knock him straight out. His men's back back up. Some dude come out the crowd. I pretend like I got something on me and whip it out. Like, I pretend like it's something in my hand. They bag up. The police come. I'm like, hell yeah. Half the year. Not half the yard, but about like seven, eight dudes came running towards me. I'm glad dog back way up. He got something. He got something. What's up? What's up? What's up? What, what, what? Ooh, I'm, I'm pretending I ain't got nothing on me at this time. I can't get no metal. Nobody wants to send me no batteries, no old batteries. The guys weren't rocking with me up there. The moles was like, they were soft as hell up there too. I don't know how they got word about all the problems I had at Marquette, but they ain't want nothing to do with me there. You feel me? Level two, this would have never happened. He'd have never been that disrespectful. The Bloods or Vice Lords would have never, ever felt like they could come talk to a Moorish American like that. And then if we did, and if he did, and he got beat up, it wouldn't have been nothing behind it. Or it had been small. Not all the time. Don't get it twisted. And Muskegon, the Bloods, the Moles, the, the, uh, um, and the Alger, they got the little, uh, where you stop and you rest at when you're going up north. Like you, The yard popped off. Bloods is not no scary. Don't get it twisted. I'm saying the little smaller subsections, this, you know, this desperate as hell. The, they're trying to hook up with the GDs, like some off-brand set, some weird set. They're trying to hook up the GDs for numbers or whatever the case may be. You feel me? Because, you know, 
I'm not saying the bloods will go at you. They ain't scared of you because you the malls, but I'm saying it'd been a whole different level of respect. But up there with, with those particular blood sets, it was a bunch of young dudes running it. And, you know, even the four corner Angelos eat the conservatives, the renegades, the double nines. They didn't even rock with them. You know what I'm saying? Like most of them didn't even rock with them. They didn't even want to rock with them lords. They like down some some other stuff. But the particular the four corner hustlers, they love a bad taste in my mouth. That's what I would tell you, like my brother man Smith Bay, like try to get me to join, bro. I'm like, bro, I, I didn't even tell him, like, bro, I really I didn't tell him at first. I'm like, bro, I really don't even like you. you feel me? <laughs> Cause they left a bad taste in my mouth. And I'm pretty sure they're not all bad. It was just there. You feel me? And there's nothing appealing about being a vice lord to me. That's just me personally. Now, I respect guys like Al Gore, McIntosh Ill. Like, they appealing. But the but, but the whole lineage of the Lords and stuff like that, I respect where it started at. But I'm really like, I admire Peace Stones. You feel me? I, I, the, the Almighty, I admire them. I admire Jeff Fort and his strength and what he did, even though he messed stuff up. Bull. Like, I, I like that. You feel me? I like Brutus from the Cash Flows. Like, those guys is like, if I join something, them the guys I would join with. I would join with McIntosh Ill because he he not gonna play about his and he uh, assistant grand sheik and he love the more science tip of America and he makes sure his set of vice lords and the people that's under him on the same page with the Moorish Americans in a higher level. So I can respect McIntosh Ill. You feel me? But the, them them other guys, them they was some clowns and they was being disrespectful. Like you under a five, but they up there shaking, breaking the fives and five down and all. I'm like damn bro you under a five and a four like a, a four pointed diamond five pointed star they don't like the word hook or Vic or Vicky Lou or Vicks or Vape Rub they didn't like the, or they didn't like the word dick because I guess Angelo uh, Angelo wh whoever Angelo was I forget his name he got fouled in the truck with his in his mouth so they didn't like the word. When the dude said, I'm on my. They take that real. I don't make the rules. Shut up, man. I don't make the rules. Peace. Hope y'all enjoyed that story. If y'all did, smash likes. Man, come on. It's me. We talking about Petty Tupac TV. Out.